The C-MAX M22 is an amphibious aircraft designed in Brazil in the 90s by Portuguese engineer Miguel Rosario. The idea for the project came from acclaimed aviator and journalist Armando Nogueira, who encouraged Miguel to design a modern light amphibian. The airplane was initially called Chapuri, in honor of Armando's hometown. That name is not particularly easy to be pronounced by non-Portuguese speakers, so to make things easier for pilots around the globe, the acronym MAX was created, formed with the initials of Miguel, Armando and Chapuri. Given the fact that the aircraft is an amphibian, the name quickly evolved to C-MAX. The C-MAX M22 was initially produced in Rio de Janeiro, until 2012, when production was moved to its current location, a town called São João da Boa Vista, in the state of São Paulo. Today, in 2023, most of the production is exported. The unit tested for this video was built in 2009 and is equipped with a 100 horsepower 912S Rotax engine. The propeller is US made, a carbon fiber ground adjustable warp drive. It's 20 feet long, with a wingspan of 33 feet. The C-MAX is a pusher, like many light amphibious aircraft. The aircraft construction is mainly of composites, with a tubular central structure in the cockpit. The wings are fabric covered, with metal spars and ribs. The tanks hold 24 gallons, 12 each side and there's also a 1.6 gallon header tank behind the cabin. Fuel is drained from this valve located in the left main gear compartment. The C-MAX has stabilizer floats located close to the wingtips. Pitch control is through a stabilator. The whole surface moves like a Piper Cherokee. There are fins on the stabilator, an aerodynamic element not uncommon on float planes. Their function is to increase the effective area of the vertical stabilizer, improving directional stability. The CMAX has a ballast system. When flying with only one on board, this iron bar must be placed in this slot to guarantee the CG is within limits. These inspection ports allow access to the bilge pump that, when activated, eliminates any water that enters the hull. Another interesting feature is the retractable water rudder, operated through this lever between the seats. The C-MAX is a good looking machine. Okay, let's have a look inside. The canopy opens almost 90 degrees. It's easy to get in and out of the cabin. Fit and finish is very good and there's plenty of room for two big persons. Headroom, shoulder room, leg room, there's a lot of it. Seat packs are adjustable in flight. And the distance to the rudder pedals can be adjusted on the ground through this system. You fly the C-MAX with your right hand when seated on the left. There's one central stick and a power lever for each occupant. The central stick contributes to the feeling of roominess in the cabin, since there's nothing in the way of your legs. The airplane tested is equipped with an EFIS D100, an EMS D120, both from Dynan, and a Garmin GPS Aerod 500. 
These lights indicate the gear is down and locked. Flaps are electrical, operated through this switch. And these lights indicate their position, from 33 degrees down up to negative. Stab trim is also electric through buttons on the stick. There are two few shut-off valves, one for each tank. For water operations, one of them should be closed to avoid fuel transferring between the wings. The landing gear is fully electrical and the gear lever is located in the overhead panel. Also up there are the ignition switch, master, lights controls, and circuit breakers, as well as the bilge pump switch and the choke. Baggage compartment consists of this area behind the seats. Okay then, clear prop! Taxiing is through differential braking, and there are tow brakes on both sides. Taking off from the asphalt with two adults on board, calm winds, a temperature of 75 Fahrenheit and a Q&A of 3026, we used up 900 feet. On climb, with almost full power and maintaining around 70 knots indicated, we saw a climb rate of 500 feet per minute. Leveled at 4,000 feet, we set 5,200 RPM. Our IAS was around 80 knots, which we calculated to be 87 knots true airspeed. The M22 is not that kind of airplane that flies as if it were on rails. Small atmospheric disturbances, or even flying at higher speeds, make it dance a little in a coupled yaw and roll motion. Also, the C-Max loves rudder inputs. Roll controls always require help from the rudders, be it in turns or when larger corrections are needed. Pilots used to fly in RVs, Cirruses or jets will be promptly reminded that their feet are there to be used, all the time. The sitting position on the C-Max is very good, even for taller, less young people. Seats are nice enough, even on longer flights, and as mentioned before, there's good space all around. Also, visibility is great and the cockpit is arranged in a sensible, well-organized fashion. This functional and neat environment produces a feeling of safety and peacefulness for those on board. The quality of life on board the C-Max is excellent. An amphibious aircraft is a versatile machine by nature. It's easy to convince someone that a little airplane like this makes sense through logic facts like versatility, low cost of operation, or maybe being able to go 100 miles per hour with no fear of getting a ticket. But all reasoning or any sales pitch would be entirely unnecessary and redundant after flying one of these machines in and out of the water. Before your brains are able to ponder the benefits, your heart is completely sold out.
For water takeoffs, a little more runway is necessary. But in this case, we decided to surf a bit with the C Max, just for fun. The C-MAX M22 is a good flying, great looking, comfortable little amphibian from Brazil. It's a smooth Brazilian beauty that dares you to have fun with her, on the water or in the sky. <laughs> 